And now to talk about our module of the week, let's turn it over to Martin Anderson Klutz, a senior solutions engineer at Acquia and a maintainer of a number of Drupal modules and recipes of his own. Martin, what do you have for us this week? Thanks, Nick. Have you been using the new navigation module in Drupal Core, but wanted some of the useful links previously available in the admin toolbar tools submodule? There's a module for that. It's called Navigation Extra Tools, and it was created in October of 2024, really less than a week ago, by a friend of the podcast, James Shields, aka Lost Car Park. It has a 1.0.0 beta 3 version available, which works with Drupal 10.3 and 11. And it is actively maintained. Uh, in fact, it already has uh, three beta releases. It does uh, not have security coverage because it's really too new to even opt into that. It does have test coverage. And in terms of open issues, technically there are eight open issues, but four of those are bugs and all but one of them are actually already marked as fixed with the latest release. According to Drupal.org, it's already in use by 12 sites. And with this module enabled, the new left, left side navigation menu that is in Drupal core will include links to clear the caches. So either all caches at once or a specific cache. Uh, you can also run cron or run database updates. Now, it's a good example of a module that does something very specific and very useful. So I wanted to share, with, share it with our listeners as quickly as possible. You know, these functions are ones I've been missing in my own Drupal 11 dev site. So I'm looking forward to using this module right away. Uh, yeah, I just want to make one comment. He, well, two comments. One is James has already fixed that fourth bug. <laughs> so <laughs> he's uh, been very active in the, the issue queue at the moment. Right on. Um, so, and the, I mean, this is exactly the reason why I'm not using the new navigation module, uh, navigation module in core. I mean, those, those tools, that's it. I mean, now I can use it. Well, that's silly. So <clears throat> I have a different, I have a different feeling about this and maybe it's just cause I don't clear, like when I clear caches, I just clear all the caches. I don't clear my caches selectively, which some may send me messages about like, how dare you? But I've actually been using the the navigation, the new navigation uh, menu uh, module in Drupal, right? And um, it is great. I freaking love it because of the drop downs and the slide in, slide out, the ease, ease of use, right? I would say that... Uh, I've actually found I've I've rekindled a use for shortcuts because that's typically where I put like the quick links to things that I need. Like, um, you know, uh, if I need to do a, a embed or a import of con of a config or a cache clear or look at my purge cache settings, that sort of thing, like it goes into the shortcuts. So. Um, you know, I could see the use of this module for like the, um, kind of breaking down the caches because like that is clearly not part of core currently. Um, but are there other options in the toolbar that are, or, or that this adds that are, are, are useful that I'm, I'm not aware of? I, I mean, for me, the two big ones are running cron because. I mean, yeah, it's accessible under status report, but you have to wait for that page load and for clearing cache, like. I, I almost never clear individual caches either, but why do I have to wait for the performance page to load? Like whatever page I'm on, it's just one click to clear the cache and you're done. I mean, especially if you're yeah. on like production or something, like if you're, if it's local, I have my terminal, I can just use Drush. But if it's production and I'm not logged in to the server, it's handy to just have a one click thing rather than having to go and, and if it's shortcuts, well, then you have to manage access, right? You don't want to give clients access to clear cache necessarily unless they're developers. So yeah, having this tool, having the access controls there, just super handy. Yeah, and what I was going to say is one of the things that I, I find really handy about having the clear cache in the toolbar is that it's one click that clears the cache and brings you back to where you are. Whereas with a shortcut, it's going to like, you could do something like open that in a new tab and then clear the cache and then go back to where you were manually. But it's like mm -hmm. more steps than just having that one yeah. nice link that sort of brings you right back to exactly what you were doing. Yep. And, okay. and it ends well, up being three page loads because you have to load the performance page, wait for the cache to clear, go back to the original page and reload to see it. Even next, if you open next, de tab. next developing websites on a word processor, it sounds like he's worried about the 
about the page loads there. Um, I do, I will say though, staying on the same page that you're on is, is a, is a nice, a nice feature. I mean, why add 30 seconds to every clash cash clear or even 10, even five seconds. Why add five seconds? I can't clear my cash on my sites like 300 times a day. <laughs> that add an extra hour to my life every day, just waiting for page loads. But yeah, I, I don't know. I, I have tinkered with the navigation toolbar. I did like the experience quite a bit more. Um, but I mean, literally the reason why I didn't use it was because it didn't have these tools. Um, it, it's a little sad on the other hand, because admin toolbar has been such a go-to rock solid module for years and years and years. And I mean, once, once this is in, it feels like that's going to go away, but, um, but it's also nice to, to move forward too. I'll have to check this out. I, I I personally agree with that statement and don't agree with that statement at the same time because now I don't have to go and install a separate module on every site. I can just enable it because it's already there. So yeah, no, I mean, yeah, exactly. But it's so bittersweet. I mean, can you imagine maintaining a module like that for so long? And then, I mean, it's also probably nice to not have to maintain a module that has so many installs because I imagine the amount of reports that they get that are just completely bogus uh <laughs> it's pretty high but you know yeah i mean for reference admin toolbar module has according to drupal.org over 300,000 installs which has got to be you know top 10 in terms of yeah overall overall um usage so yeah i can only imagine the level of pressure they feel when they're doing like a major release or anything like that I, uh, I had a similar um, realization or instance with uh, XML sitemap the other day. I went, I was installing an XML sitemap and I, I went and I used the XML sitemap module. And then I was looking at it and I was kind of like, oh, this doesn't 100% do everything I needed to do. And then simple XML sitemap or simple sitemap came up and I was like, what do I do? Who's using what? The that, talking Drupal channel was very helpful in, in guiding me in the right direction. I, I actually just left a comment on that because I've been trying to work with XML sitemap to get them Drupal 11 ready. And then somebody somebody mentioned like, oh, maybe you want to maintain it. And I was considering it. But then I realized I don't use XML sitemap. I use simple sitemap, but I inherited a site and that site was using XML sitemap. And so ultimately what I'm going to do is just change to the one that I'm more familiar with that already has Drupal 11 support. But it's funny that like they're so closely named, I didn't even realize myself. I think what happened was XML sitemap used to be the go-to in Drupal 7. It took a long time to make the jump to Drupal 8, like a really long time. And simple sitemap was created as a Drupal 8 sitemap module because people needed it. And people just haven't, uh, and then XML sitemap updated and you know people haven't fully moved over. But now that Simple sitemap is in Drupal CMS. I imagine that'll get more attention anyway. Um, but go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, I think that is going to be one of the benefits ultimately of Drupal CMS is the ability to sort of identify maybe best of breed solutions for things and have the community kind of coalesce on some of those. Or revolt, depending on depending on how how things go. But we'll see. Um, I will say, uh, Martin, that you have uh, convinced me uh, as well as you, Nick, that I should install navigation extra tools. So I will, I will do that on my train ride tonight. Awesome. Well, thank you, Martin. And if our listeners wanted to get in touch with you and suggest a module of the week like the one today, uh, what's the best way for them to do that? We are always happy to get nominations for module of the week in the Talking Drupal channel of Drupal Slack, uh, like today's module. And folks can also reach out to me directly as Manclue on all of the Drupal and social platforms.